<laughs> what do you what do you think, Miriam? She's a beaut, John. Cousin, Eddie, <laughs> Cousin Eddie gave us a great deal. <laughs> Good afternoon. Gonna run some errands and uh, pick up some dinner or parts of dinner. Dinner's already prepared, but pick up some extra stuff and uh, just take the spider out for a run because we got some relatively mild temperatures. We're in the low 60s, so we don't have too many of those days for a while. So I thought I'd take time. The spider needs a good run. Ah, yeah, here we go. Feels good. Seems like a bit of a paradox. Any time that I have free time, the weather is not conducive for a ride. Now that the cold weather is starting to set in, and it seems like whenever the weather is nice, I'm busy. I hate that. But what are you gonna do? So we're not out for any place special day. Just out for a ride. Just have a ride in the country. Looked over at Google Maps, picked up some ideas. I was uh, recently had an opportunity to run up to uh, the Richmond area to uh, drop off my stepmom to visit her uh, her family. Uh, and on the way back, there was a uh, an accident. They had blocked the four lane that I was on. I was in my SUV, and. So I said, I didn't want to sit here for an unknown period of time. If it was a fatality, it could be hours. They could close the road. So I said, let me do a U-turn and take some of the back roads. I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with the back roads. And what I turned out to be was the area near where my grandparents uh, used to live. And so that was a bit of a treat. And a little, a little community I passed through named Berlin, as in Berlin, Germany. But... Uh, Basically, nowadays, it's pretty much a crossroads and some abandoned storefronts, almost like a little ghost town. So, decided that uh, when I get a, a, a full day of good weather and a free day, I'm going to go back up in that area and, you know, just, just ride those back roads. Because I have this, uh, this uh, kind of a joy of looking at old, old buildings, abandoned buildings, whether it be barns or homes. And there's so many of those in, you know, along the, the back roads. So I want to take those in, but that, that, not today. Today we're just out, um, just enjoying the relatively mild weather. Temperature says it's 68 degrees. I don't think it's that warm, but uh, it feels pretty comfortable. I'm looking forward to sometime uh, over the next few months before the weather, before the spring weather hits, getting the spider in for some preventative maintenance. And I got a few things to catch up on. I'm going to need some uh, some fresh rubber on all three tires. Uh, it'll be the second back tire I have put on, and uh, I think I've gotten maybe 15,000 miles on the tire, which is not bad. And these are the original front tires. So they're uh, they're six years old. They're they're ready to go. Uh, even good rubber set in uh, 
even inside, I think after six years, you're, you're starting to reach the end of its useful life. You know, tires are interesting. If you get the uh, El Cheapos, uh, which I ne would never get on the Spider or my car, but some people do because of all economic situations, you get cheap tires, uh, and you park outside, uh, you probably can expect maybe a couple of years at the most because they dry rot. Uh, that's just where they're, they're not made for a long life. The, the higher quality tires have better rubber, better formulation. They tend to last longer. I know when I was flying airplanes, uh, students, uh, student pilots, when I was teaching, were horrific on tires, as you can imagine, trying to teach them how to land. So we would uh, use retread tires. Uh, they were cheap. And they wouldn't last more than six months. And that was fine, because <laughs> why would I want to spend $120 per tire But I can get a retread for 30, and they'll both last both last the same amount of time. I had a uh, student one time. He was doing some solo work. He was working by himself, and he uh, had made a, a bad landing, and uh, that basically damaged the tires uh, to the point that it was obvious they had to be replaced. And so he was so embarrassed, he took them over to... Uh, uh, a neighboring parts repair facility, air, airplane repair facility, and uh, had some new tires put on it and paid for it out of his own pocket. And I looked at him, I realized what had happened because he was flying the very good brand tires. If memory serves, they were the uh, Goodyear Flight Custom 2, which is something you put on your personal airplane if it, it, it lasts a few years and you keep it out of a hangar. Not on a training airplane. And so I asked him about it. I said, why'd you do that? He said, well, I was embarrassed. I didn't want you guys to pay. I said, son, worst case scenario, would have had you pay for the retreads, 35 bucks a piece. How much did you spend on those tires? He goes, well, installed, they're about 150 a piece. <laughs> Don't do that again. That's why we fly retreads. Anyway, so i going to put some spider tires on this, uh, this fall. And I'm uh, going to need to get a front end alignment. And I'm looking forward to getting some. The tires do need to be balanced. I know that I can feel a little bit of uh, vibration in the tires. So I'm not going to take any long trips until they get that done. And I need those back brake pads uh, replaced. I think they're down to the point they're going to need to be changed out. And uh, I think there's some other things on the... Uh, service manual that says that uh, the shop should do uh, get in there and add them take a look at those things so get it ready for next season Well guys, made it safely back to the barn and I'm going to start uh, working on some dinner uh, before Miriam gets home and if you noticed it uh, uh, near the end there, we uh, got some drone footage. Yes, I are now a licensed drone pilot, pardon me, unmanned aerial vehicle uh, pilot, so uh, I can now do that. Looking forward to getting more video and getting some practice in because uh, framing shots from a drone when you're looking through the camera lens uh, is a little tricky, but uh, I hope to get used to it, get some more scenic shots. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, y'all take care. Bye bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. 
feel free to leave a comment below.